So in this video, uh, I'm going to explain about uh, two important uh, things. One is about the reshape function in NumPy library and one more is how can we find out the number of rows and columns information on a NumPy array using the shape attribute, the shape property. So first I will open the IDLE editor and create a new file. Okay, so import the library called NumPy and assign an alias name for this one and create an array. So I am going to create an array with the help of a built-in function called array. Okay, np dot the array of we can insert n number of elements. So first I am going to create a one-dimensional array. So with uh, some twelve elements. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay. So it is actually a one dimensional array. A1 is creating an array with one dimensional. Why? Because there is no split up. All 12 elements are together is created. So it is a one dimensional array. Okay. And if I want to print all the elements of the array A1, I can use the array name itself so that it prints the array. I will show you how it is going to print. The purpose of this program is related to sh using uh, shape and reshape method. So I will assign like uh, shape.py. So don't use the reserved one, so shape demo one dot py. Yeah. First, I will run the program. So I created an just I created a one dimensional array and trying to print the all the items of the array. Now I want to rearrange the same 12 elements into a 4 by 3 matrix, a 3 by 4 matrix, 2 by 6 matrix and 6 by 2 matrix. So that is fine. So how can we do it? So we have a function called reshape. Reshape of here we need to specify the dimensions. Suppose if I specified the dimensions as 3 by 4, then it creates a 3 by 4 matrix. This I will save the program and I will rerun the application. You can see when I specified 3 by 4, it arranges the 12 elements into 3 rows and 4 columns with the help of a built-in function called ratio function. Similarly, if I want to create one more array with the size 4 by 3, 4 by 3. Similarly, I want to create one more array with the size 6 by 2 and 2 by 6. 6 rows and 2 columns. And one more is 2 rows and 6 columns. So, what are the factors of 12? Factors of 12. 2. 2 is a factor of 12. So, 2 with 2 we can do it 2 by 6 and uh, 6 by 2 and 2 by 6. 3 is a factor. So, 3 by 4 and 4 by 3. Okay. And 4 is a factor already we done 4 by 3. 6 is also a factor 6 by 2. So, 7 is not a factor. 8 is not a factor. 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 12 by 1 that is already a single matrix. Okay. That if you want you can do it. 12 by 1 means 12 rows and 1 column. 12 rows and only 1 column. So we will see what is the output it is going to generate. You see this one. First one is this is related to first statement when I am printing the array name itself then it prints this one. Next one is when I am using 3 by 4. 3 by 4 means 3 rows and 4 columns. Next one is what is the next one? 4 by 3. So 4 rows and each row holding 3 columns. Next one is 6 by 2. So this is uh, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5, row base, sixth row and two columns. So see when I given 6 by 2 it creates, it is arranging the same set of elements in 6 rows and 2 columns. When I specify 2 by 6 means 2 rows and each row contains 6 elements. That is uh, 2 by 6. And when I specify the last one that is 12 by 1 means 12 rows only one column is arranged. So like this. So, this multiplying should match with the number of items in the given array. 
So total count is 12. 3, 3 multiplied by 4 generates 12. 4 multiplied by 3 generates 12. 6 multiplied with 2 generates 12. 2 multiplied with 6 generates 12. Like this, we can rearrange the given elements, one dimensional array into required shapes. So with what shape you want to represent the elements. And one more is, if I want to, uh, there is one more attribute called shape attribute. Suppose, for example, I will uh, just, uh, yeah, I will take one more example. Just I am copying these two statements. I will create one more program to demonstrate about the shape attribute importance. Yeah. So there is one more array. I am taking np dot array of okay 10 comma 20 row 1 elements comma 30 comma 40 second row elements comma 50 comma 60 third row elements for example okay this is an example now i want to find out the size of the array a1 and size of the array a2 so how can i get it print of a1 dot shape so shape is an attribute that returns the size of the array a1 print of a1 dot sorry a2 the second array name is a2 so i want to find out the shape of the array whether it is a the shape of the array of the uh, second mat uh, second array that is a2 is it is 2 by 3 so two rows row 1 row 2 row 3 two rows and sorry three rows and two columns so it returns uh, 3 by 2 whereas here only one so one by one so you see say this one it is about uh, reshape so reshape demo dot py okay i will run the program see the first one is holding only one dimensional array so only one dimension but the second one is a three dimensional array sorry two dimensional array with the sizes of three rows and two columns for example for example uh, using the reshape function using the reshape function the first array elements are arranged like this uh, now the resultant array is so resultant array 1 is a1 dot reshape reshape of 3 comma 4 okay so print the resultant array elements that is ra1 and also check the shape of the shape of the resultant array 1 so how can we check the shape with the array name we can access the shape attribute or shape property okay now let to save the changes and run this. see so this is a uh, first one only one dimensional array size of the one dimensional array size of the two dimensional array next one is i created the i given the reshape arguments as 3 by 4 that's why it created three rows and four rows after creating then i test that array size with the help of a shape function a shape attribute that returns 3 by 4 you can see this so like this we can use reshape for rearrange the elements with the specified size and uh, we can apply the shape attribute or the shape property to find out the size of the array in terms of number of rows and number of columns there is a difference between ndim and shape so ndim property returns the number of dimensions whether it is a one dimensional array or a two dimensional array or a three dimensional array yeah, n dimensional array but coming to the shape shape won't uh, uh, check the dimensions but it will check the how many rows are there and how many columns are there so like this we can uh, use reshape function as well as the shape property on two dimensional arrays